Testing, one, two, three units are missing at Fukushima. And oh my goodness, the last two hours have been a friggin' a nightmare. <laughs> Trying to get the ingestion the frame rates. I started last night when I got an update from Adobe. Now if anybody knows me very well, you know I done a video a couple of years back about how Adobe was used by Stratus uh, for and a couple of big PR firms. Oh, it looks like it's working. Well, go figure that one out. So streaming okay. Sorry. Yeah, streaming okay. Hang on. That's good news. That was torture. The last two hours. That was torture. I can't believe I'm actually here. Um, and I was in a good mood before, so I'll just take it out on the nuclear PR firm's night, I guess. I read Button Studio, Sporty Diver, Real Night Rider, Phoenix, Steven. Uh, Looks good and clean. Thanks, Richie. Basic data. Uh, Johnny, Kate. I'm just going to take a few minutes to say hi to everybody. I just went through two hours of hell. And I just need a few moments right to the very last second. I can't believe the stream is actually working. So I'm just going to wind down for a couple of minutes. And... Uh, Jeez, I have a mind to take a break for a couple of minutes. That was like intense. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, where was I? Stratus4 and a couple of other big uh, companies out there that are basically like Blackwater PR firms. Uh, they were inserting viruses into people's computers and activist computers and stuff like that with Adobe updates. And I covered all that a couple of years ago, and many times since. Um, it works great, yeah. I feel like I ran a marathon in the last two hours. Unbelievable, eh? Is that screen up straight? Yeah. Well, then, might as well get busy. Start tearing through your... Hi, Snow, Snow Lip. I don't know if I pronounced that wrong. Wedge Mac. Sydney, I'm just going to say hi to people for a bit until my brain settles down. Saying hi to everybody will definitely get me back on track. Uh, hi Stetson. I'm actually sick to my guts here now. Kathy, Julie, Sarah Lee, I'll come around in a moment. I can just feel my head, head starting to come back to me now. Nuber Magic, I know you're there. Uh, Lizard, Steve, Hundred Tooney, thank you. Hi Stephen B, Sylvia. Yeah, I'm feeling better already. Go figure. I'll I'll come back to life. I must look like white as a ghost here right now. <sighs> that was unbelievable. That was intense trying to get this stream. I've only done this ninety times. <laughs> Now, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Pauline, hi, John, uh, Kate, Elizabeth, Red Button Studio, Checks and Balances. Here you go, I'm catching up on a few people. Cat, hi, Cat, Julie, Sarah, I got all Michael Hand. Let me see if I can find somebody I haven't said hi to. Phoenix, Custom, Sydney. Yeah, I'm starting to feel better already. Holy crap. Just passing through, Mickey. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's fantastic that I'm actually doing the stream. What happened last night? That was that update, Adobe update. But I screen, I screen captures my settings all the time. So, you know. 
And when you play around for two hours, because I have to do this every single time. Not the, not the two hours like tonight so bad. But I have to mess around with all the settings each time. I have to go in and it, <laughs> I got to download them from YouTube. Then I got to insert them uh, through the profiles. Blah! It's crazy. But I got some uh, pretty amazing stuff. You know, I come to the realization today. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I had to, I had an epiphany today anyway. Again, that uh, nuclear PR firms might not be um, who we think they are, and that you know this is um, a real issue in my books that they keep lying and making stuff up and trying to marginalize and murdering people by doing that. Um, it, it's on a hideous scale, though, where it attacks all life on the planet, in the oceans. And I, I can't find... I can't find any compassion for these people anymore because they won't give it up. They won't stop lying. They won't stop making it up. And they certainly won't stop equating bananas or walking down the road sunshine with isotope 235 uraniums and 234 and um, 238 uraniums with this with with the radiation from a banana. They equate those constantly in media, in advertisement, and so the people that allow it to happen. The nuclear PR or the nuclear regulatory agencies, the IAEA. They do these inspections in all these plants, and they claim that they're they're maintaining their licenses agreements. Yet they put it in forty-five gallon drums, and bury it in holes on the site. And it's not like they don't know about it. It's not like everybody hasn't seen pictures of it. It's not like all the media hasn't talked about it. But yet the the, the licensing agreement doesn't say they could do that. They're supposed to put in a sarcophagus to the end of the time, so they shouldn't have built the plant until they learned how to build a sarcophagus till the end of the time. And so what they have to do in order to make up for that uh, lacking is they have to create all these PR firms to try to bury what they're doing. Like they bury, they drop it off the side of a boat, out of sight, out of mind, uh, but it's not out of our lives. And it should never have been introduced into the atmosphere, the biosphere, you know how we say we're going to send, uh, you know, rovers and everything to other planets. But what we do is we can, we make sure we decontaminate them, so no microorganisms uh, can show up on another planet. And they go through amazing amount of sterilization, and they all wear outfits when they're making these things in sterile rooms. And when they get there, if they ever get to that planet, they'll destroy it. See, and so that's the trick where they, they lull you into thinking how much care and love they put into the rovers long before they get there. and You, you assume that they're going to treat the planet that way when they get there, right? But they're not. Oh, no, they're not, you know. And these nuclear power plants on Earth, while the technology and the equations are amazing, we haven't been able to contain the massive, uh, hideous amounts of the byproducts or the product itself or what's left over because when you're making it you got the uranium-238 left over contaminated with neptunium, americaniums, uraniums uh, of course because of 238 but the different daughters and uh, all these other harsh very very harsh uh, chemicals extraordinary will burn the skin right off your bones uh, into the mix too, and they just dumped that in open pits, and they release it into the ocean, they release it into your communities, they build them close to the ocean, and if something goes wrong, they will destroy that ocean, they will destroy those communities, they will destroy, they destroy it anyway, because there's always radioactive rain if you live in a community with a nuclear reactor. Uh, it's come out, of course, now that there's radioactive rain in those communities and everywhere else. And so it's this gradual and now accelerated introduction of it where uh, over the last couple of decades we've seen it use weaponized uh, for 238 and McAllister's bomb manufacturer in the United States is taking the stuff that the regulatory agency says 
is supposed to be in a sarcophagus and putting it in bullets. And in Iraq, they fired 5.5 million bullets a month. And half of those um, came out of one of the four bomb manufacturing facilities that make depleted uranium rounds. But McAllister, in particular, sending 20 tra car, train car loads a day to on the slow boat to Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, the implications of it are extraordinary all on its own because, like in Fallujah, 80% uh, of the babies are completely deformed. and Women don't want to have babies there no more. No eyes, no nose, no mouth, blobs of fish, flesh. Uh, and the story is very touching, very... Uh, it's very frightening when you open your heart up and you try to understand what it takes just to raise one single child with that kind of disability, with those kind of uh, birth defects. And they say, you know, because you're shooting that stuff down, or each one of those bullets are a dirty bomb. But all of those little dirty bombs, those 5 point or uh, 2 point 2.25 million rounds of dirty bombs a month, they break up into fragments into their homes. But this stuff is supposed to be in sarcophagus till the end of time. And so the IAEA, the Nuclear uh, Regulatory Agency, the Nuclear uh, the NRA, uh, all of these uh, pro-media, pro-global warming, uh, well-known activists, well-known speakers, pundits, media representatives, uh, they understand what they're saying, and that's why they're they're crafted the way they are. Like Dino's, like last night, was a fine example of somebody so extraordinarily talented. You know, Discovery Channel does that. They're completely PR. I mean, they have the A10 Warthog up there on the Discovery Channel all the time. That shoots a ton and a half of depleted uranium, dull ram. But it's actually, there's nothing depleted about it, and it's 238, uranium 238 left over from the production of the weapons. It's supposed to be in a sarcophagus, that's the licensing agreement. And so the fact that that was released just one single time, and you know, it's like that rainfall that's coming over, all, like I done last night, all the rainfall right across the country, right across North America. And you gotta realize that if it just rained once, that would be bad enough. But because it rains all the time, and it rains day in, day out, month in, month out, and year in, year out of these uh, radioactive isotopes, and um, then, then it's, um, it's accumulative, right? It, it accumulates in the ground. It doesn't go away, so you get uh, like 20 uh, million becquels in a liter of rainfall, like um, California, then think about it rains again a couple of days later, but that gets a lot of that gets reliberated through. And so the, the, the nuclear PR firms is what I'm trying to say, and the nuclear agencies, the nuclear bodies, the watchdogs, the watch, uh, they haven't done their job one single time. Why, why should they be allowed to be on our planet now that they destroyed our planet? Why should they get to continue? Because uh, we pay for a lot of their pensions. You know, they have no use to society whatsoever. They're the worst of society. They're the Nazis. Um, they killed us all, uh, ultimately. They stabbed everybody to death in this uh, planet. All the animals, all the species. So why should we allow them to stay on our planet? We should go, yes, we should go venturing into space, but so we can find uh, another planet and get them off this planet at best and then destroy the jet engines. As a human species, we don't deserve to go into space uh, at all. The most scariest thing possible is the human race finding another civilization. That's, that's ludicrous. We can't have that happening. Uh, they're trying to build houses on the moon now. That's how desperate they're getting. They know how bad it can get. Look at the Philippines. You know, 44 provinces, 100 mile wide F4 tornado. Do you think the nuclear agencies are going to put out a PR campaign and say they're going to fix that? No, they're going to blame that on global warming. So the whole law uh, exists, can only exist, as long as they can keep the global warming argument back and forth. So every time you see the words global warming, you got to remind them that's from the radiation. That's what this was all about over the last, uh, well, 70 years, but say 50 years hardcore, 
they're trying to cover up all the radiation on the planet because that is the global warming. That's instant energy, and that energy, like the uranium, won't go away for 4.5 billion years before it starts. To sl it doesn't really slow down. It just changes to another radioactive isotope. It's not funny. That's the gallows left. And so the argument that I had with myself all day to day was we don't need these people on our planet. They're very dangerous. They're... Uh, they're, they're actual outrageous murderers because they know what they're doing. They know uranium-235 and 234 and what it's going to do to the populations. And they've, uh, you know, maybe they just worked at the job for a year and they're learning and now they realize it. But they will realize it quick enough because people will, they will, they can't avoid that. That's their job is to distort the stuff that I tell you. That's their complete job is to marginalize someone like me and to... Uh, go after people like me and get rid of people like me. Even hack people like me. Make me work two hours to get on the stream and then the stream is fine. Um, and just play with my computer. I mean, don't think for a second that they don't employ the people with those capabilities uh, because you would be quite naive to even dream that. This is how they work. This is the game. It's, it's meant to discourage me if they can't get at you. And they'll infiltrate you folks out there with accounts where they'll play your friends. And so that's a that's a naughty game, right? That's a deceitful, hideous game to to try to trick you. You know, like Ivan done, right? Come and befriended everybody for a little bit and then stabbed everybody because they were planning this video. That was D News, that was Discovery Channel. This is part of their game that to deal with the opposition they know is gonna come. So they probably wanted to do another video a month ago, but they were waiting, trying to put together a campaign to deal with people like me. That They knew I was going to come out and bash them. You guys knew I was going to come out and bash them. I knew I was going to come out and bash them. And I'll bash them again <laughs> real good, too, uh, if I see their mugs out there anymore. I might just, I can't stand them now. I hate their guts because I realize how intelligent, how smart they are. And But this also applies to all the PR firms on the planet. These are the most despicable things imaginable. I mean, if they were in my community, I had to leave my community. I couldn't stay here. You can't, you can't uh, blame me. I don't want to live in a community with people like that. They will run over your children, and there's no way they're going to stop. They don't. That's not how they work. These these people are death. That's what they sell. They sell death uh, for a paycheck, and they don't have a conscience about it. They actually go out online. They put PR campaigns out there. They know exactly what they're doing. They choose the job because it's good dollars and there's advancements in the career, easy money. All you got to do is be cold-blooded and hate humans and just use it. Ah, there's too many humans on the planet. We got to kill them. But they should jump out of the uh, office building they're sitting in watching this video right now from if they think that way. You know, be a model. Be a, role, be a real role model. I'm a role model because I'll come here every night no matter how many threats I get, no matter how many death threats I've gotten, no matter how much I'm attacked. I'll come back twice as hard every single time. That's the game. I love it. Bring it on. But you can do it to so many people out there and be effective like you have, and I've seen that now from all my studies, all the lectures, all the hunting I've done, 24 hours a day that I'm alive, awake, I'm engaged. I'm hunting, and um, not much escapes me. I read everything. It's voracious. And what I've come to discover was that the PR firms are extraordinarily informed about the actual causes and effects of nuclear energy and the isotopes and the cancers and how they enhance each other synergistically. And they craft uh, trendy concepts to get it with little campaigns, to, to, to fit into little niches. Think about a guy who writes jingles uh, for radio, right? So you got to write a 30-second song for this commercial and a 30-second song for the end of it. And then he's got, that's what he does all day for 10, 15 times a day. He's got to make up little jingles with a guitar or a piano or something. And that's what a PR firm is doing, but it's doing it... And how do we trick people into knowing, not knowing they're being murdered? 
How do we hide away the fact that the children are getting the cancers from us? And so they sit there and they, start, they brainstorm up ideas of how they can marginalize and manipulate those facts, those statistics that would otherwise show up. And um, they have an endless budget to do that with. And so they treat themselves really well. They go to really fancy restaurants. They hold, hold cocktail parties. They live in a fantasy world, much like uh, Days of Our Lives or something like that. And they spend their entire lives, uh, and I kid you not, in this dream state, this fantasy state, like a Disneyland movie, trying to live in that land. And then they drink themselves into a stubber to sleep every night. And they might drink cognac or wine with a tall glass in front of their... Uh, quarter million dollar uh, fireplace, you know, and that's justifiable for them. They'll drink themselves to sleep and they'll bleed the lie eventually. They'll keep themselves into a drugged and drunk stubber and they live those lies. Meanwhile, at some point in their life, you know, they, they, they might realize that they're mass murderers, but then it's too late for them anyway. And there's so much going around at this now that uh, it's too much. The planet can't sustain the lies no longer. We're in, we're in uh, the whole planet is in desperate mode at this stage. You can't hide what's happening anymore. They can't marginalize it anymore, but they're still continuing for that stupid paycheck. They're so smart, they can do so many other things. They can be successful at just about anything, uh, but the money's too easy. And they really don't like the human species at all. But they don't understand, it's murdering their own loved ones, it's murdering their own families. It's, it's bizarre, uh, frightening, that people like that truly exist on this planet. Uh, but there it is, this, we've seen it now, definitively, nonstop, uh, for 90 days. I've vetted it and verified it here constantly. And so, how, you know, what else am I supposed to think when I lived and breathed this world, I went down the dark roads of these people. I chased their comments around. You know, I played games with them. It was in the comment sections, up on websites, with other accounts to to entice them to see what they were really truly like. And um, you know, this they know what they're doing. They're not stupid, is what I'm trying to say. They're not naive and they're not gullible, and they're doing this to you on purpose. These are the architects of your diseases, the architects of your misery. And they're not going to let up anytime soon. They're determined. They're hell-bent, actually, on destroying me in particular. Because uh, they don't fear what I say. They don't have any emotion or connection with what I'm saying. It doesn't resonate for them. And that's a frightening thing. Because I've seen this now over 90 days, not only on my site, you know, the goal, that they come in and even though people will give them the information, they still refuse it. And then they go to other sites and pump out the same information, but they engage in trickery and deceit and deception so offhandedly, so callously, and so repetitively that there's nothing else that makes any sense to me anymore. It's like I lost my fate uh, in a percentage of the human race all of a sudden over the last 90 days and it bugs me, it bothers me to come to the realization that people are, uh, nothing will stop them, they can't be held accountable because they're corporations with human rights. Maybe is that why they're doing what it is? Because the worst that can happen to them is they get a fine. The corporation itself will get, have to pay a judgment, but they, they can't be held responsible. They're removed from that responsibility. Is that what it is? I think so because corporations have human rights that they shouldn't have, that they only got because they manipulated the slavery laws in increments over decades. You know, the slavery law was meant to free uh, uh, the slaves from a tyrannical government. Instead, it's being used by corporations to oppress a sovereign people. And this is, you know, the Magna Carters, the Bill of Rights, and your constitutions have been manhandled out of the way because of this uh, cancer growing on the slaves' amendment to give them uh, human rights. And so they've taken that, which is an illegal amendment. It's completely illegal. 
But what it does is it gives them immunity. They have diplomatic immunity. and But because they're a corporation with human rights, they put their money in offshore accounts. And so when they do get fines, they just pay it from the taxes that they didn't pay in your communities or your states or your provinces. So they're not only uh, uh, hateful and murdering, they're also, they don't pay any taxes. And... Uh, this is really scary that this uh, group of uh, PR type exists out there in the shadow world, but uh, you got to realize how much money the nuclear industry gets from the government and how they use lobbyists to control your politicians. Because your politicians, I used to say there was nothing lower than a politician, but surprise, surprise, the nuclear PR firms... Uh, and pro-nuclear global warming enthusiasts and uh, global warming is real but only because of radiation don't get me wrong global warming is very real but it's because of radiation folks 100 percent radiation is what caused the philippines at 200 miles an hour to tonga recently uh, 100 uh, 287 kilometer an hour winds the highest ever recorded there 287 miles if you had a baby in your arm, you would lose your baby, would blow away. And because this eye was so wide, it was almost a mimic, almost a perfect mimic of what happened to the Philippines, except Tonga only had 8,000 people, and nobody carried it. Fox never mentioned it. None of the big media whatsoever, ABC in Australia had one or two clips, and they're repeated all over the Internet. But that was it. And the stories were so few and far between uh, they don't want that have out there, that, that fact, and I'm, I'm put everything together in the fall that I'm going to get it out there, uh, because this is really important. That's another Philippines. Yeah, it's, you know, I say only 8,000, but every one of them are precious. They're precious, very precious people. And that's why the media might say, oh, there was only 8,000, which I'll, I'll hang them for that one. But these people, uh, I watch the videos and the footage, and they're, 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 and the pictures are, are remarkably similar in every way possible to the Philippines. Every conceivable, it, there was even the rise of the sea got sucked up in the air and some places down there got flooded out. But it's not low like the Philippines, it's a little bit higher ground there. And Tonga, is it Tonga? Tonga, wait, no, hang on, I'll check that out. Tonga, Tonga, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Tonga, T-O-N-G-A, Cyclone. Ian, I A N Ian. Yeah, Cyclone Ian, 178 mile per hour winds. That's almost an F4 tornado. It's an F3 tornado for sure, but it, it was probably a lot stronger than that. They didn't want to come out with another 295 uh, number, right? So 287. When you're hanging on that telephone pole, can you tell the difference? I bet you they couldn't. That was a few kilometers. And so they hit this one. It's another direct. And the PR firm's extraordinary good, see? They're, they have contacts in every media out there, at the top of the media, even in the small stuff out there. And they'll pay them to run pro ads. That's what they do all day. They spend money all day. And that's where the media gets their, a lot of their money. So they're not going to give up that money. That's free money. It comes in every single year, every week at least for the big ones, every day for the bigger ones. Every magazine for many is going to be much, always lots of pro-nuclear. And then the kickbacks is government advertisement also in your... Uh, you know, so it's a total betrayal. Uh, these people are not really humans. I don't see them as humans anymore. They're mass murderers. They know what they're doing. They're doing it on purpose. They're doing it for a tiny fucking paycheck compared to the damage and the carnage and the misery they leave behind. These are the most vicious people on the planet. Once again, I wouldn't feel safe in a community with these types of people in it. Tonga, yeah, Tonga. And that was Tracy May left a comment in one of my videos and frighten me and sh but unfortunately she was 100 percent right and so i spent not yesterday but the day before all morning and so where's my number 12 i got number 
a file should be on my desktop here, it says number 12. And when I unplug the projector from this one, all my files jump around on my desktop. I hate that, eh? And just, uh, I got some good stuff I'm going to finish off with tonight. We've been running for 30 minutes. I'm pretty frustrated that PR firms exist on the planet today. I'm very disappointed today to see that. Uh, this is, to me, shocking. Post-Fukushima report, concern over plutonium, uranium, plutonium-238, 239, 240, 241, uranium-235, 234, being deposited and re-concentrated far away. And uh, Nubra Magic probably covered this already. I haven't caught his latest video, but I'll catch it after. You'll find links below if you don't see his, can't catch his comment in the comment section, because that, that comment section rolls pretty fast. And if you come here later, you won't be able to catch that comment. Uh, maybe not. But um, it'll always be underneath the video anyway. So you can go watch his videos, because he's doing the same as me, right? And he's got lots of experience, and he brings uh, his experience into each video. So that's really important. And we need a lot of people like that out there, learning and getting active at it. Even if it's only a minute, two minutes long, just write it all out and practice and then shoot a video. That's the best you can do. And don't worry if you get any views. And don't worry if you get bad reviews. Keep going better. Analyze it. And you'll do better next time. It'll always be a lot better. Hi, Cats Alive. Chester, checks and balances. Mickey. Isotopes transfer to land via sea spray, aerosols, flooding, fog, rainfall, just normal evaporation, human exposure by inhalation, food, contact, sitting in the grass at the park in the summertime. Shocking. It's frightening, actually. Um, we have to deal with a top radiation expert, 50 becquels a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in vital organs, December 10, 2011. I uh, can't pronounce his name, Valimir Tetchkov. Um, agreements between the IAEA and the World Health Organization cannot research health effects of radiation or effects of nuclear accident if IAEA doesn't agree. <coughs> Former head of World Health Organization admits the answer to the IAEA. Right? They don't put nothing up unless they uh, vet it through the IAEA, who never once call out a single nuclear plant for their constant dumping, for the constant uh, pouring, releasing into the communities. It's just like it doesn't exist to them. It's like, hey, we're the IAEA. Woohoo! Bring on, bring on the hookers and the cocaine. Got a free ride everywhere. And so that's the meant to give, so people don't under, you know, people think, oh, there's somebody out there watching out for us. But they're not. They're, they're out there collecting suitcases of money all day. 50 becquels a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in your vital organs. California rainwater, 20 million becquels a liter. Your child is outstanding up and more than that every day if they live in California or San Francisco or Seattle. That's where all the hot particles went to. And your government never told you and the PR firms are out there covering their asses constantly. Probably here tonight. But they're out there covering their asses and every mainstream blog in the comment sections, they're on it. Well, he, the, coming into my videos is not very productive for them because you send me into a rage for a couple of days straight. And so they're starting to learn that that's better off just to leave me alone. Go bother everybody else. <coughs> yeah. One million becquels a kilogram of cesium detected at a Fukushima school, uh, July the 13th, 2012, after being decontaminated. So they decontaminated the school. There's a million becquels a kilogram of cesium after the and but 50 kilograms, 50 becquels, disintegrations per second, every second till the end of time. Because wherever there's iodine, it has to be iodine 129. Wherever you hear iodine 131, there has to be because there's three iodine 120 uh, 30, 31s made, and then it makes an iodine 129. But you can't have any of them anyway without the plutonium and uranium. And uranium's got a 4.5 billion year half life, but you got to multiply that by 10, so 45 billion year half life. 
or life. A murder, mass murder. Every second is a backwell. A backwell is enough energy to flip over a grain of sand. So if you got that into you, it doesn't take you long to get a cancer forming around that because it sequesters in your organs right fast. But it, it causes lesions in uh, your organs. Just at 50 uh, backwells. Now, these are not backwells like bananas, okay? That can't hurt you. That's not got nothing to do with uranium, plutonium, strontium, and cesium. By the way, wherever there's cesium, it's just 30 times more strontium, 90, say. But there's other types of strontium that are extraordinarily bad, and they sequester into your organs. But strontium-90 seeks your bones out, and so you'll see leukemia is extraordinary coming up. And they'll have the treatments. They'll be able to make money off the treatments, right? The PR firms will be burying all of this, uh, so they can make money off the treatments. Well, well not there's no such thing as cures, right? They don't, they'll, even if they find it, they'll just bury that too. It's about raping everything you got, making you liquidate all your assets before you die and that they get a chunk of the pie. It's about recycling everything about you and then throwing whatever's left away like trash. Like to deal with the homeless at Fukushima Nuclear Military Industrial Misery Plant. The misery maker that is Fukushima. Uh, I see a comment. So, if 50 becquels a kilogram is going to cause serious lesions, permanent, irreversible lesions to your vital organs, what the fuck is a million becquels at that school? Right? So, you won't see the PR firms down in front of that school saying, see, the kids are okay. They love radiation. No. But you'll see them out in the ghost accounts on all the blogs, YouTube in particular, but all the blogs, certainly, all them stories, every story out there, they're going to be the first comment you run into will be pro-nuclear. And that's the person who ever wrote the story -o. Now he came out with ghost accounts on his own story pro-nuclear. That's how they work. And then they remove anything that uh, contradicts them 100%. Um, a million becquels a kilogram of cesium. So you can't have the cesium-137 without uranium, plutonium also. It's frightening. 10 million becquels a kilogram of cesium detected in Minnesota soil sample. Um, you know, kids are walking past that. How many times would your kid have to walk past that? And these, and these numbers, I mean, so the particles are suspended closer to the ground because it's accumulative in the ground too, see? And so your kid is closer to the ground, so they're breeding more of it. That's the insidious part of it. Uh, but the PR firms will be out there making fun of it. They really are the, the most twisted, demented employees. Uh, they shouldn't, they're not humans, right? They don't act like humans. They don't even try to act like humans. And they hide behind the guise of corporate personhood, and so they have no accountability. They're the actual trolls, the true trolls, and they're scary stuff. They're, these will run your children over, uh, and they won't stop to help your child. That's the kind of personality they are. And it wasn't an accident that they ran your child over That's the, and ran away. That's the kind of people we're dealing with. They do it every day in the comment sections. They do it every day in lectures. They do it every day in schools. Uh, when they're talking to the communities, they dare able to infiltrate your communities and your gain your children's attention through the schools because the schools are the most hideous things on the planet. Uh, they're just atrocious now. Only the stupidest teachers can teach at schools now. Ten million becquels a kilogram of cesium in the friggin' soil. Uh, what would that work out to, I wonder, what a square meter? How long would you have to sit there to get, <laughs> to get irradiated? Six seconds, 60 seconds to get the uh, serious cancer, guaranteed cancer to breathe in enough particles? Yeah. If 50 will make lesions in your vital organs, 50 becquels, you know, what's 20 million going to do to you, to those children? Academic journal, Fukushima catastrophic catastrophe becoming turning point in world history, its long-term impact and meaning are impossible to repress. <laughs> you don't say? This was uh, February 20th. 
This was on February 20th. The Asian Europe Journal, Academic Journal, Fukushima Catastrophe Becoming a Turning Point in the World History. We're going to seal that fate. We're going to make those words come true. That's a fact. We already done it as far as I'm concerned. We already changed the tide. Hey, remember the video I done about Boing Boing? A week ago or something? Maggie? Um, Boing Boing journalist reports being threatened in Japan by officials at gunpoint. A Canadian journalist ordered to sign falsified confessions. Corey Doctorow. Uh, January 22nd, 2012. Yet Maggie's out there saying there's nothing wrong in Japan. Yet they wrote another article. Right? See how they work? They just stab each other in the back. They don't care. They're PR firms, right? They're PR. That's what they do. They're PR. Yeah, they might be good writers, but they're PR. They're pro. Nuclear. Pro. Military. Pro. Mass murder. Long as they get a little extra check. Right? Or to get their name mentioned up on a Twitter account or something. It's worth it to go out and murder a bunch of people. Just to get their names mentioned by somebody. They probably take pictures of their screen. Send it off to the parents. And the parents are like, oh, boys out there murdering somebody. How can you let your child work for a nuclear industry? How can you do that? What kind of miserable, disgusting monster are you that you would let your child work for a nuclear industry? Period. They're the most hideous things. I don't want them in my community. I can't stand them. Everything about them now is revolting. They, like they're, I, when I read stories by uh, pro nuclear now, it's really, you know, I have nothing but contempt, utter contempt. Because they can't do, you can't write those things without knowing the other side. You can't, there's no such thing as a world where you're so blind and so naive that you, you can get up in those positions of power and be able to rate that without knowing the difference. And so these are really evil people. These are twisted. I mean, you seen that movie Purge? Where they want to kill us? We need to do that to them at some point. We need to purge the planet of them if they don't if we don't deal with a true a system. If the system lasts very long. This whole system probably gonna crack in anyway in another year or two. Columbia medical professor inhaling just one radioactive hot particle can cause cancer. Cause cancer. New York press conference. Just one radioactive hot particle. And I got to pop on my screen. Yeah. yeah, sugar is really bad. Thanks, Night Rider. Uh, eating sugar fuels cancer. There's a link below. The DCA. And DCA will reduce uh, all tumors, all of them, by up to 70% in the first three weeks. Average of 70% in the first three weeks. Intriguing, yeah? There's no money in cures, okay? And you can't get a patent on DCA. And it's been used in all kinds of exotic injuries. It's a very well, very old, and very well sourced out mineral. And it's innocuous to the human. And it reduces all tumors by 70% in the first three weeks. Keep taking it and kill the tumor. And it doesn't hurt your normal cells. So radiation therapy, it kills all the cells in your body because if one cancer cell survives when they radiate you, they just can't re radiate little parts of your body like they claim. They can't do that. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard somebody try to say, but I've seen the PR firms out there saying it. You have to kill all the cells in the body and hope they recover. That's why they lose all their hair right away. It's because you're killing all the cells in the body with radiation, because radiation is really good at that. That's what it does better than anything else. It kills the cells. So you can imagine the children sitting just in America, just in Canada, in playgrounds and places like that. They're getting hammered with back wolves. But look at the poor children of Japan. They're doing it to their own. And our government has become pro-nuclear to keep their job, to hide it away from us, like I covered last night where the audio and the video didn't match up. I checked my settings after. All my settings are the same as what I got here right now. They're all perfect. But uh, they like to mess with me. But by doing that, I come back night after night and beat on them. So they can have it any way they want it. I'll just give it all up and start making one-hour videos with pictures 
and videos and audios and explanations and graphs rather than sitting here just talking and then let people re-upload that all over the place. See how the PR firms like that? Because I can do better, much better than D News can do for editing skills. By far, I can give a much more better presentation than they'll ever give. I'm just, I'm older now. I just want to go try not to inhale one radioactive particle because it causes cancer. So we should make uh, pro-nuclear people, before we send them to another planet, breed uh, backpacks, Scotty backpacks, full of radioactive hot, hot uh, particles. And then we stick them on the rockets and we send them to another planet. Give them a good old lung full of cancer before they go, though. And then we only give them GMO to eat. And we'll put live cameras, live webcams on the uh, rockets so we can watch them dying. Because the GMO, they won't have no nutrition in their body. Um, so, yeah. If I could raise a couple of million dollars, I'll see that true. <laughs> I can guarantee you. The worst thing they got on this planet right now is me. Because I see, I can see through everything they're saying now. After 90 days, I get it finally, 100%. And so every day I'm driven to get back here. I can't wait to sit here. I can't wait to just stick it. My poke him in the eye. If they were sitting in front of me, I couldn't help myself. They'd be like, hey, ooh, I'd have to poke him in the eye. I couldn't take it. Yeah, it's next impossible to get any real information. Inhaling just one radioactive particle can cause cancer. Let me finish it up. Congress releases blockbuster report dealing detailing NRC conspiracy in wake of Fukushima. Right? They got busy to cover it up, the NRC. They're the same ones who says, we keep an eye on everything. That's why you're giving us the big bucks. That's why you're giving us all the attention. That's why we get to speak to all the media. And what they do is they stab everybody, including their own loved ones, their own family, their own friends, aunts and uncles and cousins and brothers and sisters. They stab them all, man, to death with buckyballs and hot radioactive particles. And they probably go home at night and glee, jump around like banshees, dancing around the fire. They can't kill all of them yet. I mean, they, they probably go home and hide in the closet all night. Death River radiation detector goes over the limit in Fukushima City. 430,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium. Can't have cesium without uranium, without plutonium, without murdering. You just can't have one without the other. If you see CCM, that's murder in that community. Like last night, that was all murder, all the way from Alaska, down to Canada, down to Mexico and America. That's murdering all those citizens. But we got to worry about the Philippines. That's why I'm really here. we got to worry about Tonga. These events are happening now. That's two. That's two in a short while. Extraordinary high winds. Stripped the uh, pavement right off the highways down there. 70% of the houses are demolished. The rest are destroyed. Just like the Philippines. And everybody's telling you the same story. Where the air was projectiles. The air became projectiles. This was not This was an F4 tornado. Just like the Philippines. With a hundred mile wide eye. I said there was just this little island there. That got end up getting destroyed uh, this is a frightening thing now this is two how long before the next one he buried that one I wouldn't even found out about it if Tracy May didn't put a comment there I would have missed it I had to search all morning find the stuff about it and finally verify everything and then I put it all into a package here on my desktop I'm getting to uh, tonight I couldn't even put a balloon on pinheads Head because I spent two hours non-stop trying to get this stream to work. And then like three minutes before I was ready to go on air, everything just settles down. Just messing with me, right? But that's just going to piss me off. So maybe, you know, maybe somebody can tell me what are we going to do with all the nuclear PR firm employees on this planet? I know what I want to do with them. 
There's not enough. There's not enough telephone poles to hang them from in my community. I tried all. I spliced each one of the ropes too. My fingers were bleeding and full of blisters, and I wouldn't complain <laughs> at all. Maybe I'd ask for a cup of tea or something, but that's about it. You wouldn't even have to feed me. I'd just sit there doing it for free, actually. I know, it sounds a little ludicrous, but... Former Department of Energy official criticizes UC Berkeley professor for comparing ingestion of radioactive iodine to air travel. So, when you're flying in a plane, that's just radi that's normal indigenous radiation. That's got nothing to do with uranium-234-235. That's got nothing to do with plutonium 238 239 240 241 It's got nothing to do with strontium. It's certainly got nothing to do with cesium. The stuff you're flying through in the air, um, that's indigenous to, to Mother Earth. And because you're up a little higher, you're going to get a little bit more of what Mother Earth gives you anyway. And so it's a little bit odd. But it's got nothing to do with a radioactive isotope. If you ingest a single isotope, uh, like a uranium, it'll give you the cancers, big cancers, because it's such a high-rated particle. And it doesn't stop for 4.5 billion years. But when you die, you can put that isotope in somebody else, kill them. And in a 4.5 billion years, you can kill a lot of people by doing it with that single isotope. So what happens when you release massive, inconceivable, unimaginable amounts of that up on the planet, 10 to the power of 135,000 of this, 10 to the power of 135 million isotopes of that, 10 to the power of 135 billion isotopes of this, and then arrange that in your community at 20 million becquels a liter? I like to see a pro-nuclear person say, it's okay, and then drink it. It won't happen. They know better. They won't even go in the same room as that. They won't even meet you <laughs> to even talk about it. They certainly won't get in the same room with that leader. They know. They're not going to go down in front of Fukushima and get their, and take a selfie, okay? Not going to happen. Uh, these are monsters. These are predators. These are the vultures and the parasitic feeders in our society. And... We can't give them any quarter. We can't give them any more room. We can't give them any freedom. We don't, you know, they don't deserve human rights. We should take the human rights away from these people. They should be put in the, on an own island. They got leprosy. They're a diseased. They're a scour on our society. They're the scourge of our society. They're, um, they're like, uh, uh, they're the scurvy of our society. They destroy, they suck the life out of our society. And there's nothing you can get that can cure it outside of the DCA can help you live. But you can't stop it from reigniting because there's so much. Because uh, we won't, we can't stop them is what I'm saying. That we won't, we won't contain it. We can't contain it. They don't try to contain it. They dip it in the oceans. They dump it over ships. They have pipes going straight out into the oceans. They build these power plants right on the coastline and they hemorrhage into the ocean and they don't care. They don't care. They, their job is to come out and cover it all up. That's what they do, right? If there wasn't a cover-up, they wouldn't have a job. The job wouldn't exist. PR firms wouldn't exist if it wasn't dangerous. They exist because it's extraordinary dangerous, it's extraordinary toxic. And you have to have a personality of a mass murderer to take the job in the first place. Because you can't get the job if you're stupid, so you have to, you, you're informed. They're not going to have somebody in there that's naive, 100%. They have to be willing to play the game. It's no good to have somebody there that's going to blow the whistle on you when they find out how evil you are. Right? Evil aggregates together. So, there we go. We made it through another night, did we? I'll come up and have a little boo here. 53 minutes, we went straight down the path of, uh, we got a few minutes left, let me cover another couple of headlines before we wind it down. I got like another four headlines I'll run through for everybody, because I've done mostly um, lecturing tonight, I guess. Um, freelance journalist in Japan, Fukushima government dumping tons of radioactive mud from the decontamination into the rivers at night. 
And once again, you know, the regulatory commission, the IAEA, they don't care. The licensing, they're not, they got licenses at Fukushima to run the plant. And it says they're supposed to put that in the sarcophagus, but they just don't care. They don't even try. They, they ain't willing to. They won't spend the money. No one's going to pull their licenses. These people are, uh, that gives the licenses out are, the, no, they're, they're PR, right? That's what they specialize in. That's why they got that job. Everybody in the regulatory commission is a PR, uh, is a lobbyist for the nuclear industry. They're pro-nuclear, 100%. Governor, who instructed TEPCO to lie for months and say Fukushima didn't melt down. So you got a, you got a Japanese government instructed TEPCO. Not to tell anybody on this planet, except for the American military, that uh, they had three meltdowns at that plant. And nobody knew when they were, if or if they were actually going to tell anybody. They were probably, obviously, they were thinking about hiding it. And so that person should be hung. It's okay to hang that person. You know, that person uh, eventually will get himself hung anyway because people are sick of it. Up to... Um, NRC commissioner on the NRC's own statement. Someone reading this would think every reactor in the USA is a time bomb waiting to go off, attempted to prevent the release of Fukushima report to the public in Congress. That's the NRC commissioner. That's the people you put in charge to trust you, and all they do is try to hide it or marginalize it, and they send it all immediately out to all the PR firms. Get ready. Get ready. They're going to come out and say bad stuff about you. Okay, everybody, come on. Trying to make some bonuses. And Congress at the same time now will allocate a whole bunch of money to the nuclear industries and they'll siphon it off into the PR firms. And this machine is vicious. Uh, it's vicious. One more headline. Hang on. I'll come say hi to a few people. 30 times more strontium-90 than cesium at Fukushima. Strontium is much more dangerous. Um, to, uh, it's like an ongoing experiment, you know. Initial health consequences of Fukushima catastrophe are now scientifically verifiable. March the 7th, 2012. You can look up any of these headlines. Radiation levels. Oh, hang on. Health physicists in U.S. worried about inhaling hot particles from Fukushima, either uranium or plutonium. Once again, see, it's so rare to, head, to see the headlines like that. It's so rare, and, and I have to hunt all this down each night for you folks to give you a perspective that you haven't heard. Because when the tsunami was going on, all of this got buried, see? The media kept coming out with tsunami stuff, and people didn't get to hear this stuff. Anybody that looked really hard would have heard of it. But this stuff got buried, and that's what's so twisted about it, and that's what makes it so important, uh, is that, you know, to me, that links all these stories together. That links everything together each time for me. So I share it with you folks at night. Because when I'm reading these stories, uh, you know, I can't imagine how these people didn't know or couldn't know. Uh, like all I can imagine is how much money they made trying to bury that underneath everything else and try to, you know, that's what they do all day, every day. There's an enormous amount of time, energy, money, skill, talent, resources, unbelievable amount, inconceivable, worldwide into PR firms to trick the public. It's a never-ending, 24-7, 365-day, relentless machine. And there's very few people that are speaking out or are willing to speak out. If you've got a career, you will get destroyed for just one video like I have made. Will get your, you will be destroyed. They're working hard on me, but they can't. I'm independent. And I'm, uh, I'm on Mother Earth's side. You know, I'm on your side. And I, de I despise them for what they're doing. I recognize them for what they are. They're not humans. They're aliens to this planet. They don't act, speak. Or they don't have any kind of responsibility or accountability. And uh, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm calling them out every friggin' night if I get a chance. I'm here. Because that's how I roll, is at some point you got to make a stand. That's how you roll. That's why you're here tonight. So we say goodnight to everybody. 
Sergeant York, I liked the comments last night. There's some good stuff. Snulip, Ken S, Stephen Meyer, I'll read these after I get a cup of tea. R uh, Rickick and Mork. Yeah, I hear you. Huma, Penny, Red Button Studio. I seen your, yeah, I seen your comment can be seen there. Troy, Standing Foot, Mr. Justice, Sylvia. I'll come in and read everybody's comments after. I guess that's another reason I'm here every night, too, is because once I read your comments, I get it. Right, and I try to keep it. I'm sure I'll let you get it. You understand that part about me, that I'm influenced just, you know, I'm no different than anybody else. Cats Alive, David, Ketzer K. Yeah, I seen that one, Ketzer, growing mushrooms indoors. Hippie murdered by the French 007. Yeah, you're welcome, Stephen. Yeah, best wishes to you folks and your loved ones. Uh, I don't have panic attacks anymore. That's pretty cool. Peace. Uh, I'm still worried, right? I'm still frightened. I'm still emotionally drained. Uh, but I do see a big difference. I do see the narrative out there repeatedly lately in the last few weeks. I think that's encouraging. I think that's amazing, really. I think people are paying attention. You know, I think people are, are um, that are educated and aware and informed understand that are here watching these videos, watching and reading your comments, seeing your responses, understanding that uh, we're not two ships passing each other in the night. We're forced to be reckoned with, and we're not going to be put down or put off or marginalized or babysat or manipulated anymore at all. We woke up, we get it, we done our research, we got educated, got to come informed. Now we're angry, now we're looking to set things right. We'll do that again tomorrow night. I'll finish up those headlines I didn't get to tonight, and I'll have another batch of new stuff for everybody tomorrow night. Like I say, every night I gotta give you something new, something worth it, and I gotta work hard for it. And it's, that makes me a lot stronger, a lot better. And if you find my flaws, tell me, right? Tell me. That makes me stronger. You're not insulting me. You're not, you know, by telling me that I made a mistake here or there. That's not an insult. That's not criticism. That's helping me. But I'll be vetting it. Don't think I'm just gonna take your word for it. I'll go out and vet it. And I appreciate it, and I'll double check just in case. Even if I think I'm right, I'll still go double check. All right? It's not a game to me, see? Okay, folks, we'll catch you tomorrow night. Take care.